Hello there, you aesthetically pleasing person you. This is Chris from Techspert and I'm here today with the Huawei Nova 5T. Just 350 quid bags of this SIM free here in the UK. Or you can also grab it and contract from the likes of EE, Carphone Warehouse and it boasts some surprisingly premium specs for that sort of mid-range asking price. It actually packs pretty similar specs to the likes of the Huawei P30, last year's uh, one of last year's big flagship phones, which I recently did a long-term review of. So go check that out if you need to know more. What we're going to do now is get the Huawei Nova 5T unboxed and do a deep dive into the hardware and software so you know exactly what to expect and for more on the latest greatest tech please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell cheers so that right there is the phone itself let's just pop that aside for now and check out exactly what else you get in the box of course so as you can see there a bit of pokey pin device to actually get your sim card stuffed inside and if we open this bad boy up as well, you get the usual pamphlet action, nothing particularly exciting. And then in here, we've got a two pin a European uh, charger, but hopefully if you buy it here in the UK, you'd kind of expect to get the three pin version instead. Bit of uh, type C USB to actually charge it up as well. And it looks like you do get some wired earphones bundled in the box as well. As you can see there though, they are USB earphones. So I'm guessing that means there's no proper headphone jack on the Nova 5T, but at least you actually get a pair of USB headphones bundled in the box. You don't have to rely on your Bluetooth pair or one of those annoying dongly things. Uh, though that said, you do actually get one of those annoying dongly things bundled in there as well if you do have a preferred 3.5 millimeter pair of headphones that you'd rather use. All right, sexy times. Let's cram all this back in the box and then we'll actually check out the phone itself. So the Huawei Nova 5T is a glass smartphone. You can pick it up in three different hues. You've got crushed blue, midsummer purple, or and uh, boring black. It's not actually called boring black, it's just plain old black. I guess they couldn't be bothered to think of a snazzy name for that one. And perhaps calling it boring is a little bit harsh. It's quite a neat and tidy smart design. As you can see, they're already picking up a few little bits of finger grease, however, so you will have to keep it buffed up, even in this darker hue. But if you want something a bit more interesting, certainly those brighter, more colourful models definitely look a little bit more exciting. And while we was boasting that uh, the Nova 5T has a multi-layered 3D effect, I'm certainly struggling to make that out here on this black version and maybe it's more obvious on the colourful version uh, but yeah it just looks like sort of a straight up glass design here. 174 grams has certainly got a decent little heft to it. Uh, take a bit of tour of the rest of the hardware as you can see you've got type C USB port down below and a bottom firing mono speaker there as well. Over on this edge you've just got the SIM tray up near the top. It looks like up top you might actually get an IR blaster as well which is becoming increasingly rare on smartphones. Very rarely see that. And then over on the right edge you actually get an edge mounted fingerprint sensor which also doubles as the power button as well. Take note Sony don't do that weird disassociation of the power button and the fingerprint sensor and then a volume rocket just above that as well so let's see if we've got some gas in the tank we do huzzah so now we can get the Nova 5T all set up and uh, take a bit of a tour of the rest of the hardware and the software all righty so the Huawei Nova 5T is all set up let's start with a look at the OS and unfortunately it is the older version of Android Android Pie rather than the fresh new Android 10 and Huawei's Emotion UI version 9.1 is slathered on top of that so again older version of uh, MUI, uh, not the latest of MUI 10. So that means, unfortunately, you don't get the likes of the dark mode and some of those other sexy new design changes as well. Touch wood, hopefully an update to Android 10 and a MUI 10 will be coming soon. In the meantime, you still get lots of great customization thrown in there so you can play around with the likes of the display stuff. It's quite neatly organized as well. I do like the MUI settings menu. Uh, it's a lot more straightforward compared with uh, rivals like MIUI. Uh, and you get the likes of the digital balance thrown in there, lots of security and privacy features. That includes not just uh, the fingerprint sensor on the side there, but also a bit of face recognition as well. So let's just test that stuff out. So as you can see there, quick tap of that scanner and uh, the phone hibernates. And then if we just put our print to it, as you can see, boom, straight into it. Didn't even need to press the power button, just tap your print to the surface and you're straight into your smartphone. I've also set up the face recognition as well, complete with a bit of raised to X. So if I just lift the smartphone, for instance, off my desk, as you can see there, boom, it's recognized my face and I just need to slide in order to get to my desktops. And if you have a look at the face recognition settings menu as well, you see you don't even need to slide to unlock. You can do a direct unlock if you like. So let's try that again. So once again, bit of raised to X recognizes me and Bosh, straight in there. Oh, and by the way, if you're worried about the Huawei Nova 5T having access to any of those Google services, well, don't, because as you can see there, you've got full access to the Play Store and all of those other great Google goodies. And all the other features that you'd expect from a mid-range smartphone are present and correct as well. So for instance, you've got Bluetooth 5, you've got a good bit of NFC action in there, dual band Wi-Fi support, all that shenanigans. Now, so let's take a look at some of the Nova 5T's hardware. And let's begin with that 6.26 inch IPS display. Now it's a full HD plus resolution panel, so nice crisp 
visuals despite the fact that it is a fairly sizable screen as well decent uh, viewing angles and everything there and the colors are looking pretty nice as well a little bit punchy and some of those more vibrant hues of course you've got full control of that over in the settings menu so if you prefer more natural hues that's not a problem whatsoever of course you do have that dinky little pinhole camera down there in the bottom corner but it's barely intruding whatsoever on the full screen view here on YouTube so it shouldn't really be much of an issue unless that kind of thing really bugs you and if we just check out the audio quality as well I believe it's just the single bottom fire and speaker here lens rear camera as well as a 4000 milliamp battery a sizable so yeah no stereo speaker setup unfortunately if you muffle that speaker then as you can see the entire sound is drowned out or if it's worth steering clear of it. And it's not the loudest of speakers around, that was top volume, but you know what, the quality seems pretty good, so as long as you're not in too noisy an environment, that should do the job. And yes, sadly, there is no dedicated headphone jack, no 3.5mm jack here on the Huawei Nova 5T, but at least you do get the adapter bundled in the box, and of course the pair of Type-C headphones as well, to do you in a pinch. And what I forgot to do, of course, which is the first thing I usually always do with a Huawei or on a smartphone, is go into home screen style and set up the apps tray. So you can actually get that bad boy back. So you have to have all of your apps scattered here across the desktops, which is highly annoying. And of course, you've got to get rid of all these crappy little uh, bits of crapware as well booking.com and all this kind of shenanigans. And we can just tidy up our desktops and make it a lot nicer. Now the specs are definitely pretty impressive as far as the performance goes here on the Huawei Nova 5T. It's powered by the Kirin 980 chipset from Huawei, uh, backed by six gigs of RAM as well. So as you can see, pretty smooth performance so far, even though it's still in the process of setting itself up. That's basically the same specs as last year's Huawei P30, one of the big flagship phones from 2019. So uh, yeah, as you would expect, quite, pretty smooth performance overall. Should be absolutely fine for gaming. You've got the GPU turbo uh, boost for the likes of PUBG Mobile and stuff in there as well, so great stuff. I'm also hoping for really solid battery life from this bad boy as well. The Nova 5T has a 3750 milliamp cell stuffed inside, so very, very strong indeed. Again, similar to that P30 smartphone from last year, so obviously you get easily a day of life from that. And as you can see, you've got the usual power saving modes, ultra power saving modes, all of that shenan shenanigans, should you need it. And while we reckon you'll get about a half charge from 30 minutes of the plug, so reasonably fast charging as well. And still before I forget it, it's 128 gigs on board, although I don't believe there's micro SD memory card support. Just take a quick look. Uh, yeah, that looks like a dual SIM setup, uh, but no micro SD memory card support, unfortunately. Of course, Huawei is going away from micro SD entirely using its own proprietary storage as far as memory cards go instead. So now the final bit of hardware that we need to take a look at here on the Huawei Nova 5T is its quad lens rear camera setup. So what you've got here is a 48 megapixel primary lens, pretty standard uh, resolution even among quite budget-friendly smartphones these days. That's an f1.8. It's backed by a 16 megapixel ultra-wide angle lens and a 2 megapixel depth sensor and 2 megapixel macro lens. Now the app will look very familiar to anyone who's used a Huawei or on a smartphone in recent times. As you can see there, it uh, just gives you a little tutorial on some of the various bits and you first open up that camera app. You can swap between the different lenses just with a quick tap here. So you've got the ultra-wide angle lens and then you've got the standard 48 megapixel primary lens. You can also do a bit of digital zoom by tapping up there as well. No telephoto option sadly here on the Huawei Nova 5T. If you look at these little toggles up top as well, you've also got the AI camera mode, which is basically just a scene recognition. Helps to uh, boost some colors in certain circumstances, things like that. And of course you've got all sorts of bonus modes that you can flick around between down here below as well. So for instance, you've got the portrait mode, uses that depth sensor just to capture a nice clean shot of your subject while blurring out the background with a nice bokeh style effect. Doesn't look like you've got much control over that that affects are they just a bit of beauty mode action that's pretty much it you've also got a dedicated night mode as well which takes lots of different exposure shots melds them together nicely in order to create a brighter more balanced image you can swap to video at any point with a quick swipe down here and you should be able to shoot up to 4k resolution footage if you like yep there you go or as you can see there various 1080p incarnations as well and if that still isn't enough for you then just swipe along to more and yes there are absolutely bugger tons of other bonus bits that you can do in there including a good bit of pro content controls as well, full manual controls uh, so you can play around with the ISO level, the shutter speed, all that kind of shenanigans to get a very precise kind of shot. And as you can see there, you can actually shoot up to 48 megapixel at maximum resolution 
if you like. Otherwise, just uh, stick it at good old 12. And of course, you've got your super macro modes to make the use of that macro lens, uh, time lapses, slow motions, all kind of shenanigans. If we swap around to the front facing camera as well, it's a 32 megapixel selfie camera, so it should capture you in all kinds of glorious detail, which ain't particularly great if you've got sags and bags like I do. As you can see there, full HDR support and all that kind of shenanigans. And yes, as usual with the Huawei smartphone, you got all of this claptrap. Get a bit of ER stuff. That is one pissed off bunny. That shows exactly my level of emotions, what I feel towards this ER crap. Just do not understand why you would do this to yourself. I mean, this right here sums up exactly what is wrong with the human race. This is why Brexit happened. And there you have it. That right there is the Huawei Nova 5T. So as I can say, for 350 quid here in the UK, SIM free, you should be able to get some decent contract deals on it as well. Some pretty solid hardware overall and slightly older software, but hopefully that will be updated soon. Of course, you've got full Google services and everything. So yeah, I'm liking this so far. I'm going to slap my SIM in it and use it for a full week and then give you my in-depth review. So stay tuned for that. And for more on the latest greatest tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that note notifications bell. Cheers!